want to get them to an inversion in the midpoint of the practice. If someone's capable of headstand, that you do it in the midpoint and you prepare for it with standing asana and then kneeling asana and then lying down asana with the limbs above the trunk and that last one that is so valuable called Dwipada Pita, the bridge where you stretch the neck. And then you're ready to do your inversion. If someone can do headstand, you follow it with a shoulder stand which is the counter pose to the headstand. If people can't do either, then you put their legs up on a chair or just do any asana where the limbs are above the trunk. Having done your inversions, headstand, shoulder stand, or legs up, legs above the trunk, then you come down from the inversion with back bends on the abdominals, twists and four bends, seated twists and four bends. So you've got that, there's a whole order to that. And you design the template of your practice around those principles. You start with standing asana, yeah. then you go to kneeling vinyasa, yeah. then you're lying on your back, supine, finally stretching the neck, then you do headstand, counter poses the shoulder stand. But you've got to be very careful that very few people can do headstand without injury. So shoulder stand or legs up, then back bends on the abdominals, so the counter pose to shoulder stand, and then you're coming down in the releasing, calming aspect of practice. You've energized the system and the standing and the headstand and the inversion, and then you want to ease the system and release, release. This morning in the releasing practice, we had some people very released, you know, very released of some emotions. There were some tears that were there, good tears. We say, these are good tears. Releasing happening among us. So in that we having like, like uh, tilled the soil and did the gardening, you know, there was a lot in there. And then we had to like release what had come up. To go into shoulder stand, there's a big restriction here. You know, the blood, there's weight here coming down here and it's hard to lift the chest in. But we develop a skill in being able to do this ujjayi breath even in the midst of restrictions. Mm. It's just a, like an easeful, slow receiving of that inhale. This artful beauty of finding the movement and the breath and the, the asana that's right for you and playing that edge of your um, capability. <laughs>